Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Uh, same day, same sesh, sort of. Um, I I took a break, <laughs> but anyway, we uh, I guess we're gonna do some more cell dune stuff. But I could just recoil first of all to Great Gate. Let's install the cell and um, hand in the quest. Signal in the noise. Complete the quest. Place the stamp tray. More than a willing spirit. Have you completed the task? I guess I didn't complete, like, even the basic task. So where is our miscellaneous uh, repair? Yes. Um, okay, I'm good. Why was there a torch? effect just now that's a little bit concerning um are you no shem one is like legendary but doesn't seem to have any reputation um q girl is hated by barathermites admired by roots i almost thought that said admired by robots would have which would have been great we're gonna lose a little bit of betel rep they're okay with it for now have some more um secrets Teach me how to craft chain pistols, please. No. Um, you are disliked by pariahs, antelopes, cult of the coiled lamb. I don't think I want to make friends with you, Otho. But hey, here you go. You receive an EMP grenade mark three, a freeze grenade mark three, a stasis grenade mark three. That's quite nice. From a rep. They're the only ones who like me now. No. Uh, discuss the signal. What is a betel? I will do so. We'll go to um, Bethesda Sousa, but I would like to be on good terms with robots and um, unshelled reptiles and oozes before I do. It would be kind of nice to be on good terms with trolls as well, but that ship kind of sailed, huh? We'll go talk to Jaco Jacobo. Jacobo? What do you got? Fitted with suspensors. What does that do? Yeah, this is, I, keep, I never remember what that does. Masterwork. This weapon scores critical hits twice as often. That'd be nice. Metered is okay. Sturdy is nice. What can is can that go on anything? Can't be cannot be broken or cracked, though it can still be destroyed. Eh. It'll teach me how to build a cra uh, a flamethrower. And a grappling gun. And a light rail. Light rail is a really nice weapon. If I have the means, I'll do this, but uh, I don't think I have the means, to be honest. Um, we've got some artifacts we should... Oh, I should have dropped off my books at the Six Day Stilt. We can, um, give him a couple of chem cells. These are all low. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Sorry to start this episode with some uh, store shopping business. Oh, look at all my rusted grenades. Let's just get rid of those. Uh, actually, I guess I'll disassemble them because we'll get the bits back. Have all these daggers. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Why is logical Uther Peter Boon in my inventory? Isn't oh, it's because I have the um, symbiotic firefly, and I don't want to give it up just yet. Uh, what else can we give up? We can give up one of these. Oh, both of these actually, since we already have many basic toolkits. Oh, we have a rough agate gemstone. We can give that up. That'll that'll do. That'll do. All right, um, so Symbiotic Firefly, what is that doing for us? I know that's, you know, reputation with insects. I feel like if um, this logical Uther Pater Boon, whatever is good, what does it do? Electrical generation, it's pretty good, but we don't have jacked yet, so it wouldn't really do much for us. Um, gonna go ahead and drop this rusted rust locker. I think that's funny that that happened. Uh, let's go ahead and disassemble this. I'm going to disassemble a couple of uh, our grenades. And this. Just the ones that rusted, so we'll get the bits back. Um, let me actually just do a control F rust. wonder if this works. It does, actually. Oh, no, our carbide shield rusted. We actually want that, so I'm going to go ahead 
Uh, I'll disassemble this solar cell. Is this rusted? I don't think... Oh, it's snail encrusted. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and go to our applicators, fix it spray foam, and then go to shields. I mean natural armor. You can't fix natural armor. There we go. Fix our shield. We should have enough like scaled stuff. I should go and try and find some layers. Um, so what I'm going to do is put on our scaled carbide shield. Do we have any other helmet? Nope, that's the only one. Um, do we have anything that can go on our back? Apparently the flames are takes our back slot. That's interesting. Um Is that true? Yeah, it is. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's uh let's put the Whoa, we have a weird We should I, let me look at my artifacts real quick. Poison gas grenade. We have a point defense drone. Bloodstained Love Injector. I wonder what... There's something weird going on with artifacts. Combustion Cell, which is fine. Semi-automatic Pistol. I'll go ahead and... Oh, apparently I'm not... I'm already treating those as scrap, but I'll disassemble it. Uh, let's go talk to... Is it Giuseppe? Hortensa? Oh, wow. Look at all of those tonics. And all those tonics. I'm 100% going to grab all those. We have our cybernetic, which is reactive cranial plating. It's fine. I'm just going to explore Gritgate so I can uh, check out our other data disk hoarder. Uh, I think it's Hortensa, maybe? No, they collect liquids. But they've got a little bit of um, lore for us, so we'll go check that out. Uh, not our Hortensa. It's probably Neek and oh, a spare fusile as well. Neek has some stuff, not a lot of stuff. Hulk Honey Injector. I'll definitely buy that. We'll definitely buy a Hulk Honey Injector. What I will trade for it? Uh, let's do the reactive cranial. And then we'll talk to Spare Fusile. Spare Fusile definitely has some data disks. Ah, oh, electromagnetic, electromagnetically shielded is quite nice. Force bracelet, nope. Magnetized boots, nope. Ma nanomagnetic, nanomagnetic, nope. Resonance grenade, Mark III. Don't really need or want any of that. Okay, so we're kind of done here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and recoil back to Karuk and we're gonna continue our salt dune exploration I think we can start here oh, We have an ooze it might seem kind of like pointless, but if I could find some more layers to um to legendary dawn gliders then it would actually be worthwhile because i have the opportunity to potentially be on good terms with them um so now let's switch these out for our scaled and let's also switch this out for scaled and now we are um uh what with unshelled reptiles 600 so you are welcome in their holy places so this is you know this is the deal right is we want to um, find some legendary dawn gliders um, because now we're on good enough terms that we can like break bread with them uh, and uh, and then we can maybe salvage some of our reputation at least with unshelled reptiles because that's important I would really like robot rep ooze and unshelled reptiles those are the three I care about really I don't care about anything else I, I don't even care about like fellowship of wardens to be honest if I, I would sacrifice everything for those three. I sure hope I haven't set myself up for some schaden, schadenfreude. Schadenfreude? Schadenfreude just now. Oh, we have a Betel boy. Hello, Betel boy. What do you got? Just like my fish. We can make friends with you.
Have some secrets. We also need Mechanimus Rep, it must be said. I, I should double check to find out um, what, like, what they have and see if maybe I can just rob them. Uh, yeah. How much to have you join me? Oh, kind of, a, kind of a lot, actually. Can we proselytize them? Something has happened. Oh, yeah, four. Okay, proselytize. I'm convinced. I guess they're already a mechanist. <laughs> um, I could try and beguile them, but that seems cheesy. Um, I know, like, you might question, like, when, when is cheesing the game unethical? You know, you could ask me that. You could ask me that, but what would be the point of that? You know, I'm not going to give you a satisfying answer. The answer is like very, very subjective. That's the answer. It's whenever you think it is. And I mean, like, I think it's fair to spend some reputation to have, uh, have someone join you in order to rob them. Right. I think that that's fair because you are still spending a resource uh in order to to take their stuff right that makes sense i hope that makes sense but using beguiling to convert them to your to, to your being your friend and then robbing them costs you basically nothing uh and i think that that's cheesy that's what makes it cheesy to me uh and i would prefer not i would prefer instead to to you know do things uh, slightly more legitimately. So in this case, I'm I am buying. Oh, we also have some scaled spike steel gauntlets. We don't really need to wear those because we're already on very good terms. I wouldn't mind ma learning how to make those mirror shields and then selling them. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of want to sell some books. Could sell this combustion cell. It's got one dram of oil in it, which would be nice to keep, but eh. I'll sell some uh, freeze dried horse shrooms to make up the difference because they're quite valuable. And actually, I'll, I still have some that, um, you know, you know what we should do right now? We are inspired. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. Choose ingredients. What, what can we be cooking with? Mashed lag would be kind of nice. I was going to say we should start cooking with some nectar because I have nectar. Um, let's do skulk, hulk honey, and cider again because I still want the dream. That's not the dream. That's just, that's almost the dream again. It's very close to the dream, but instead of that DV, I, why is our DV so low? Why? Why is our DV? Oh, I guess I tanked it with all of the stuff that we're wearing. Wow. Um. Okay. Worth noting our DV is like god awful right now. Okay, so we we don't really care about this recipe right now that we're using. So I'm going to do... Uh, first of all, we're going to preserve our exotic goods. We're going to do... We have two Eater's Nectar Injectors. We'll do our Horse Room. We'll do our Love Injector. We'll do our Eater's Nectar Injectors, two of them. And we're going to whip up a meal with Cycle Gland Paste and Nectar. And, uh, you know, see what we get. Nothing happens reveal a, reveals a secret. Okay, so nothing happened. So let's just do our another no drop of Nectar. Nothing happened. Well, we're getting very lucky. Unlucky now with the nectar. But like, you know, here's here's the question. If you used, let me ask you a question. If you used four eaters nectar injectors to get plus one to all attributes, wouldn't that be better? Isn't that better than if you... Uh, I believe as a mutant, you only get one attribute point maybe to spend um, each time or a mutation point. So like, what's better? Like at the end of the day, what is better? Would you say? 
let me know in the comments, you know? Um, I could start spending points on muta uh, on heightened quickness. We're, we're at level 20, so we're getting kind of close to, um, like, 25 is our next rapid advancement. I don't know what I want to put that on just yet. Stinger would be nice to increase the pen of Stinger. I honestly do want to buy another mutation. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Free electrical generation is very tempting. Triple jointed, though. Triple jointed. Since we have electrical generation via that um, item, although it's not, like, great. It's just kind of good. Beguiling is really tempting as well, but, like, because of, you know, our ego would build it quite nicely. Um... But then we're taking on another mental mutation, and I think that that would that that starts to get a little dicey because now we're we're our glimmer is starting to build up a bit. I feel like the take is triple jointed, and in fact, I'm gonna put some points into it. Um, plus three agility. I mean, it it, it basically is gonna fast forward us towards some really powerful uh skills i think that that's worth it i might not put any more points into it for a while and i'm going to continue putting rapid advancement into stinger probably uh i think having plus three tri on tr uh, agility isn't bad i don't think i'll put any more points into it for a bit um so like yeah agility is quite nice now and that'll up our accuracy some good stuff happened on that screen um, give it a couple, uh, a couple screens before I turn the music off. Swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. Uh, I'd still like to try and get the dream meal. Oh, I'm, I'm not hungry at all. At least we're on good terms with fungus. Why is that? Oh, I guess we're not on good terms with fungus. Otherwise, that dong glider would be cool with us but it, the only reason they're n the, the reason they're not cool with us is because they are a friend to fungi and apparently our fungal rep is not good enough oh okay yeah never mind we're almost there but aggressive fungals are not cool with us if we were on good terms with fungals and oozes then the rainbow would Will be like stupidly easy now this is an interesting zone are these pariahs no they're servants of toe hated by worms hated by the fellowship of wardens an interesting um an interesting lad i wouldn't mind making friends with the servants of pato legend uh seeker friend if I got some more um, rep with secret uh, the Fellowship of Wardens, it would be worthwhile, I think. Ooh, what is that? Luminous Moat. What? A Luminous Moat of Glow Moth Dust. Tromad Corpse. Kirschling corpse. This is still like one of the funniest things to me. We have scavenging now, so we have the full gambit. I wasn't able to do too much of um, Golgotha. I should like exploring, auto exploring a zone with a kraken in it is is dangerous work. Okay, we're gonna wait till nighttime, and I might switch to highlight mode pretty soon. In fact, I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll see you soon. Okay, we found uh, from one of the garbage a layer of a legendary croc, which is quite good. That's just as good as a legendary dawn glider. That'll be unshelled reptile rep. Oh, kudzu symbiote. It's funny, we're on good terms with unshelled reptiles, but we're still finding dawn gliders. Oh, I don't have a weapon equipped. We're still finding dawn gliders that, like, are aggressive to us because they're friends to other factions okay this is interesting we've got a 
chain laser emplacement. Now, y'all know how I love me a chain laser emplacement. Seems to be on good terms with me. I'm not sure why. Also, it took down a bunch of dong gliders. Oh, it's Mechanimus Convert. I'm sorry, Mechanimus Convert, but I am going to disarm you. Um, and then I'm going to kill you. Don't hate me for doing that. But, uh, that is a free chain laser. What's all this? Fidget cells. Treat us scrap. Disassemble. Weird artifact. 41 pounds. Jacked chain la- A jacked chain laser, you say, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's equip that. And let's also, uh, I think it is time to get rid of the symbiotic firefly. I love you, symbiotic firefly. I'm sorry, but, you know. Um, we've got, we've got better, better stuff going on now. Did I, oh, it's brackish oil. So yeah, uh, Jack the Laser, it, it's, it's a, it's very good. It's like one of my favorite like, along with the flamethrower, I think it's just such a good early game item, and it's also not that hard to get. It is a heavy weapon, though, so it's not really going to be very accurate. But we'll see. Maybe I'll take heavy weapons. I do like heavy weapons, apparently. Is this a another village that I haven't explored? No, this is my village. I have 100% explored this one. Kind of nice being on friendly terms with like lizards and Isakari because I, I basically never get stopped. Loved by birds, disliked by water barons. That's cool. We got more rep with birds. We're getting gossip already, which is kind of nice. Do you have any things? Oh, you do have some things. You got quite a lot of things, actually. Uh, I would ask you to join me, Water Brother. See, this seems to me like a fair trade. Give me all your books. Give me your minstrel token. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm robbing birds. I'm sorry. All right. You go ahead and stay there. Goodbye. We're not on good terms with oozes. So I do occasionally get stopped by slimy tiles ah we have a mechanist let's go see if the mechanist is cool i think i already visited this one loved by mechanist hated by vines i'm sure i may probably broke bread with this one no actually that's good i don't care about vines in fact i i really don't care about vines what do you have to trade? Oh, yeah, you've got the good stuff. You got the goods. Um, how much to tr give me all that stuff? I'll probably trade the minstrel token. We have another eater's nectar injector after this, and I will definitely I I'm going to cook with it still. Let's get rid of this luminous mode. I have a funny feeling that that is a uh, what you get for butchering a glow moth corpse which i believe is quite a rare drop i'm not gonna buy the selves i'm gonna check out your campfire though and we're gonna go ahead and preserve eater's nectar i know that i'm inspired but um i i suppose we have all everything we need let's preserve all this we have everything to we need to like try to make our our dream meal so i'm gonna continue trying all honey and skulk quickness intimidate burrowing claws a hundred percent know what we want burrowing claws is quite nice though i mean we could it stands to reason we, we could use burrowing claws to cheese um bethesda susa i did say i was gonna cheese uh Golgotha, but I ended up doing it legit. Alright, cook with the drop of nectar. 
nothing happened so that is officially we've used like four drams and or four drops of nectar and nothing has happened so that sucks you know that that is uh the odds are not with us anymore is is what that is okay so the question is the, the question has evolved would you use five drops of nectar instead of just using the injector like at what point does this become sunken cost fallacy is the question we're inspired we may as well try again i don't think i'm gonna be hungry oh no we're hungry um cider hulk honey skulk i wouldn't mind if i had more bone meal it'd be really nice yeah not nothing like that that's not it not not the meal we want we can talk to these drum heads um plastifer might be good because it's got cold resistance right yeah it's got pretty good cold resistance but i think i'd rather try and get the woolly mod i should check in with the six day stilt occasionally to see if someone's got the woolly mod okay we are at the top of the screen so we're gonna walk over two screens and do the same thing downwards uh, i am gonna take a quick stop here though so where am i currently current location is northeast uh of this so let's let's um let's just go down a couple more screens and then we'll be uh, on level with the uh, six day stilt around some forgotten ruins Ooh, there's a seed lad I never know how to do this right. Nice. Just like completely mess up. We have the uh, dark calculus right now. So auto explore uh, is doing funny things. At least we're on good terms with spiders. Okay, so now... Oh, we're still not on level... Southeast, we're we're very close. Oh, let's wait till daytime. I saw a void voider. There's probably a legendary spider on this tile. Where did they go? There they are. Uh, they're just like a. This is just a voider. They're probably a mechanist, actually. Okay, so are we gonna go check out our schematics, lads, real quick? Chef, what do you got, chef? Oh, you got a drop of nectar. Nice. Well, I mean, there's no excuse at that point. You got to use it at that point, right? May as well uh, spend a couple, like, I'll spend like 40 freeze dried horse shrooms. It's amazing how common they are. I think they appear wherever there are mechanimists. Oh, albino ape pelts. And I guess we'll sell this wine. Oh, we don't need to sell that much. This is good enough. Okay, um, campfire. Choose ingredients. I don't care that I'm inspired. I guess I kind of care. I always care, don't I? Okay, yep, 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 yep. We didn't get it. Nectar, drop of nectar. Nothing happened. Good lord, we're not getting lucky. Um, schematic drafter. Uh, electromagnetically powered exoskeleton. I've never used that item. I don't know if it's actually good. Psychodyne helmet. Ulnar stimulators. Interesting stuff. I don't think there's stuff that I really want. Um... Okay, so looking for my other... Skim, skim seller. I think they're actually on the north end. But let's stop here for just a moment and um, drop some books off. Also, I should drop some stuff off in here. 
Point defense drone is apparently worth 80 reputation. Did not know. Those are quite valuable. Sniper rifle. Uh, let's see. That's why I wanted to keep the sniper rifles. Is they're actually worth quite a bit. I'll drop in a metal folding chair. Why not? Honestly, none of this is really worth it. Maybe the bounding boots. We do have some weird artifacts. Let's check these out real quick. Tattoo gun. Oh, goody. HE missile. Treat a scrap. Okay, I'm actually not going to throw anything down there. What do you have? You've got a lot of lore. Um, more of the same here. Nothing that we really care about. Okay. So, uh, I will continue with our exploration of the desert. We're making some good ground, though, I gotta say. As well with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. If I had some bananas... If I could get some bananas, it would be really worthwhile to do like the mushroom, freeze-dried horse shrooms and, and uh, banana meal. That'd be kind of nice. Strength DV. And always, and we always get the DV. I never seem to get the uh, agility. Got a dromad. What do you got? Anything good? Doesn't. Well, you got a rocket launcher or something. Um, you've actually got some interesting stuff, but I had too rich for my blood. We found something. We found some Reshef lore. Must be getting kind of close to getting all the Reshef lore at this point. Ah, it's getting nighttime, so we'll wait through the nighttime. Ooh. Uh, oh, we're on good terms. These are pariah. They're, it's a null worm pariah. You must be on bad terms with, well, the Gersh, apparently, but loved by pariahs. Are we on good terms with pariahs, or did I mess that up? We're on pretty good terms with pariah. We are not on good terms with the Gersh. Gersh is at negative 625. Still, it'd be kind of nice to get some Gersh rep. Um, I don't know if I want to touch this, to be honest. I think I've already gotten what I need. Oh, another one. <laughs> Just like by the villages of Ipar. We can make, we can make peace. We get a bit of rep with, uh, with apes, which would be nice, you know? Repair some of the damage done. Ah. We've got a legendary Barathermite. It's been a while since any anything's happened. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab all this trash. Um, and then check out our Barathermite here. Hated by the Hinder Nebela. Oh, that kind of sucks. If anything, I'd like to... Well, I don't know. Am I gonna go to Nebela? It's a good quest, and it, it, it the rewards are good, but I don't know if the rewards are something that this character is going to care about. And getting the antelope rep wouldn't be terrible either. I'm pretty sure it doesn't... Oh, no. Uh, Luliheart represents pariahs, not Bela. She represents the opposite of Bela. Um... So wait, what am I doing here? I'm... Oh, I guess... I guess I would want to, to destroy them. I'm just gonna leave them alone. This does not represent a, a gain for me. Either way. Green Namertum. Let's see what we can glean from Gleam. From Green. I saw a Mimic there. How come we're on good terms with Mimics? What in the world... What what kind of faction is the Mimic even part of? <laughs> They're dead now. Goodbye, Mimic. Goodbye, friendly Mimic. I'm sorry. 
You just you're very good XP. You must understand. Uh, we're not on okay terms with these spiders. There's a legendary here. Oh yeah, this is the one that wants me to give them a cloning draw to make friends with them. Screw that. Not doing it. Tatara. Let's see. Tatara, you've got a fried processing core. And that is basically it. Gotten ruins. This is in the marshland. Now we're getting near the bottom. Got some books. I haven't gotten a lot of books for exploring the entire desert. It's been kind of sparse, I have to say. We have a legendary Barathermite in this ruin. Uh, disliked by the Pewtis Templar, birds, cats. Loved by Barathermites. I think you have to die, I'm afraid, friend. We're just, I'm just like shooting them with the chain laser and then backing up. Why are you walking away? Cat rep is increased. Petus Templar is increased. Birds is increased. Sorry. Sorry, I know I killed your friend. You have every right to uh, hate me, to be honest. Stun rod. I'll go ahead and treat that as scrap. I guess I already am. I don't understand why certain things are acting a certain way. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff here. Phase harmonic. I'm gonna go ahead and just kill this lad before I do anything else. Um, here, let's go ahead and... Can we do F2? No, we can't. Okay, we'll grab... Oh God, I'll just take all. I'll just take all. And then I'll grab... Can you guys go away? Are we over encumbered? No, we're not. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, there might be some stuff I need to drop. Cloth robe, probably. I think there is some other stuff, but like... Oh yeah, bronze mace. Drop that. Disassemble all this. Um, feathered nulling, sturdy iron buckler. Uh... Replace cell, disassemble cell, drop. All right, we're good. This was a uh, pretty interesting um, zone, I have to say. Good rep. I, I, I don't like I value cat rep to a certain degree, probably more than I should. But I don't know, I just kind of like would like to be on good terms with cats. I don't think there's any, any oh we're at the we're at the bottom okay uh let's work our way back up one more over okay uh let's grab a quick bite to eat and i actually think i'll end up episode here it's been a bit of a slow episode but um you know, we're making some slow ground. You know, we're, we're making progress. We're, we're getting some reputation. I would really like to get my ooze rep. I'd really like to get my unshelled reptile rep. Like, we've got the unshelled reptile to be on good terms with them, but only because I'm wearing, like, 50 things that they like. Um, so it'd be good to be on naturally good terms with them. But, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.